Our fine dining exposition continues. Tonight we're indulging in a seven course dinner experience at Ludium, specializing in Japanese and French fusion. We were greeted by the owner and head chef Keiichi Shinohara. He was trained by various Michelin star chefs throughout France. We started the night with sake and sparkling water. Chin chin! The first course of the night was a bowl of daikon soup accompanied with a French canal fish cake and sardine coquette. The soup was quite savory with the viscosity of porridge giving it a homey yet elegant quality. The Japanese approach to traditional French canal was quite charming. The second course was a plate of pan-seared scallops drizzled with a cream sauce with an artfully arranged vegetable salad composed of sliced apples, celery, purple pickled onions, and edible flowers. The third course was an alternative approach to a perfectly cooked egg floating on top of a parmesan cream sauce and garnished with freshly shaved truffle. It was accompanied by an intricately crafted Italian salad consisting of waffle cut potatoes and delicately cut purple and lettuce and microgreens. The parmesan sauce was absolutely amazing. Loved it so much I licked the bowl clean. For our fourth course we were presented with a white fish garnished with shiitake mushroom, translucent cabbage, potato stacks, and surrounded by a creamy vegetable and yuzu emulsion. The combination of ingredients were thoughtfully arranged and a lot of care was put into the presentation of the dish. Pan seared duck surrounded by roasted vegetables nested on a sweet potato puree served as our fifth dish. The duck was basted in a hoisin and teriyaki sauce combination, a creative mingling of Japanese and Chinese flavors. The roasted vegetables were well seasoned and featured a nice crispy texture. For our sixth course, we were given the option of a cheese plate or a chocolate dessert. Naturally, my twin brother and I opted for one of each so we could share and try both. There are three types of cheese offerings for the cheese plate. Wokfu, Green Demu, and Abudons, with a side of orange puree sauce. My brother crafted a wonderful bite of French cheese, orange marmalade, and a wooden baked French bread. Memories to cherish forever. The chocolate cream was lovely, and the chocolate crisp balanced the silky and smooth texture. Absolutely fantastic. It was as if we had eight courses in total. For our seventh and final course, we were given a plate of chestnut crema with a side of orange marmalade topped with matcha powder and Monte Blanc chestnut crumble. An immersive dessert, it was like eating cold ice cream and a warm cookie swirling in a creamy, crispy, and crunchy chestnut galaxy. It was an incredible dessert and concluded the evening's dining experience. I was so impressed by the food that I got footage with Keiichi to share my gratitude for his wonderfully crafted recipes. He was so incredibly kind and accessible as we shared a nice pose together. Thanks for viewing another Eating Adventures in Paris and look forward to future videos.